Look at all those turtles. And all of a sudden they're like, -la -la -la. oh my gosh, stop. Wait, that's genius. No, he moved. You idiot. Come back here. Sucker. I just did that with a Sharpie. I hope it comes off. All right, let's like shift gears a bit and look at some axolotl content because axolotls. And apparently axolotls are really popular on TikTok, but just saying I was into them before it was cool. All right, so the first video we see in axolotls does not disappoint. Uh, this is totally fake. I can actually demonstrate how this is done. This is edited in post. It's not real, guys. Don't be tripped out when you see stuff. If it doesn't look real, it's probably too good to be true and it's probably some kind of editing trick. Don't be duped. Don't be fooled. This is this is fake. Do you see this? This is literally just an editing trick. Don't fall for it. Oh my gosh, stop. Wait, that's genius. Why can't I download this video? Oh my gosh, I'll just show it to you. So this guy is basically taking a marker, a dry erase marker, and putting it on the glass of the tank to draw over the axolotl as it looks into the camera. Why have I not thought of this before? This is genius. I, I'm going to have to try this with mochi. <laughs> oh my goodness. Whoa. Okay. So first inclination is to say you probably should not be poking your axolotl like that. Not only when you stick your hand in the tank, it has all kinds of like oils and perhaps chemicals stuck to it uh, that you don't want going into your axolotl tank. So that's kind of one thing. I try to refrain from doing that if possible. However, if you think your turtle is dead, might be worth checking up on. <laughs> um, but I do have to say axolotls kind of do this. They just like zone out. Like I've had Mochi do this before. I literally was scared that he was dead or something. And I reached my hand and like, I tried to poke him with my tongs or something and he wouldn't move. And all of a sudden they're like, la, 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 and just spaz out. And it is just kind of freaky. I just, I don't know what goes on in their brains. I don't know if there's like nothing in there. Oh, there goes Mochi. Hi buddy. Are you gonna go hide again? Oh, hold on. We gotta take a video of you. Where's my Sharpie? Here we go. Let's try this. We're gonna try this TikTok thing. Hold on, give me a second. Okay. There he is. Hi, Mochi. How are you? I don't even have a light on here anymore because he just doesn't like it, but there he is. Look, you can see Pudge in the background. Ah! Oh! Okay, here we go. I'm trying to make my own TikTok. What do we draw? A single piece of glass for the earth. No, he moved! You idiot, come back here. Sucker. I just did that with a Sharpie. I hope it comes off. Okay, so I tried to film Mochi, he uh, he went away, he went far away, he hadn't, he didn't want any part in that. I tried, I really tried. Anyway, back to the videos. I just, I don't think axolotls have anything going on in their brain, and it's kind of concerning when they do this, but, I mean, he's still alive, he's still doing well and he's kicking, so that's good to see. I don't know why they freak out like this though, they just like, I don't know. Axolotls are weird creatures, that's all I can say. Does everybody just do this trend? because I think it might be a popular thing. Because I've come across like three videos where people do this to their axolotl. And I, I'm really sad because this is amazing. I, I'm on board with this. So this is, this is kind of crazy. I did not know that axolotls like this existed. Now, obviously I just learned about this two minutes ago. I have no say on like the ethical concerns of this or anything like that. I have not done any research. This is all I know is what was in this video. But that is just, crazy that they're able to do that axolotls are just amazing creatures and from what i can tell these animals look healthy i mean axolotls can regenerate limbs as well so i don't see why they're not able to connect tissue from other things kind of like when you graft a tree maybe that's kind of like how i would imagine it working like you know when you tie a tree together and then the cells just normally bond but what they make firefly axolotls how did I not know this? I've heard of like Chimera where it's split down the middle and that sometimes it's just a random thing that happens. But I didn't know people actually transplanted the tails. How crazy is that? Comment down below if you did not know this. Also, shout out to this account, Stress in a Box. So they have quite a few axolotl videos that I've come across and they all seem to be really well done. Um, so I definitely appreciate that. Again, I will say all I know about this creator is from TikTok, so I don't I have no idea about this person as a person, um, but the videos I've seen so far have seemed to be pretty interesting. So 
Anyway, before we move on to the next one, just a quick shout out to all of my patrons over on Patreon who help support the channel and make these videos possible. You guys are amazing. And if you do want to support the channel, get access to behind the scenes, early videos, all kinds of cool stuff, check that out. One of my patrons actually just won this adorable Squishmallow Archie the Axolotl for being over there just for merely supporting on uh, Patreon. We do all kinds of fun stuff over there. So definitely check it out. I'm trying to get to 75 patrons so that we can start doing monthly live streams. I haven't live streamed in many, many years. So I think that would be a lot of fun and your support would be much appreciated. All right, this video is really cool. It's actually a bunch of axolotls eating live blackworms. And I like this video because it kind of shows off all of the different morphs. You've got copper, you've got leucistic, you've got albino. I think there's a gold in here. And live blackworms are a great source of food. I mostly feed earthworms because that's what I have easiest access to, but blackworms are also another great food to feed your axolotl. That's super cool. Look at them, they're so cute. All right, so this video is kind of interesting. What we have here is a melanoid, I believe is what it's called, and a leucistic axolotl next to each other. Kind of look like yin and yang, pretty cool. Um, but this person just goes in and just grabs her axolotl. Honestly, you should never really be touching your axolotl. Like most amphibians, axolotls have really sensitive skin, and so to touch them is just not a great thing. They kind of have like a slime coat that helps protect their skin and hold in moisture. So just like don't take them out of the water because they breathe through their gills. It's just like, don't do this unless you have to, and you really never should have to, honestly. I can't really think of any reason you would need to be like touching your axolotl. If you're trying to take them out of the tank, use a separate container and just scoop them up or something like that. I don't know. This just, ugh, I don't, I don't, I don't know how I feel about this. And obviously this creator turned off comments, so it's probably not a good sign. I. <laughs> All right, this video is of an axolotl biting a finger because they are stupid and they think anything that moves in their tank is a worm. So yeah, I've actually been bit by an axolotl before. I did a video a really long time ago. I would ask that you probably don't watch that video because it was a long time ago and I'm a little bit cringe, <laughs> but, but. I will say that it's not, like, it doesn't hurt, it's just more startling, and they don't have teeth, it's kind of just, like, gummy, so it just feels like it's just, like, kind of clamping, clamping your finger pretty hard, but then they let go really easily. I would say that this is not dangerous to the axolotl, provided that your, like, fingernails are not gonna cut them or something. Obviously, it's just the axolotl mistaking something for food, and as long as you're not, like, rough with it when it bites you, the axolotl will be just fine. So like, try not to like jerk and scream if you got bit by your axolotl. Yeah, that's basically what I'm trying to say. Oh my gosh, it's another one. Look, why are all of these like, you can't download them? Probably because they're afraid of people stealing their videos. Um, I'm sorry, this is under Creative Commons. I'm reacting to your video, please don't copyright me. Um, <laughs> but uh, this is just like the funniest thing ever. I'm gonna try to do this with Mochi again before we end this video because he's kind of out and about. I hope I don't scare him. Come out. What else should we draw? A little mustache? Yay! Ah! Hello, you're so cute. All right, he needs a little hat like this. Ready, go. Oh my gosh, it actually worked. I can't believe that actually worked. Oh, goodbye. Good job, Mochi. Your glass is dirty, but I'll clean it someday. For those of you concerned about the Sharpie, check this out. You can just scrape it off. Hehe. <laughs> and now my finger has Sharpie on it. <laughs> Bruh. There we go. Stay there. Hey. What are you doing? Why are you moving? All right, so that will do it for today for reacting to turtle TikToks and actual auto TikToks. This was so much fun. Let me know if you wanna see me do it more in the future. Again, you can leave TikToks for me to react to in the description if you find one that you think is really funny or that you'd love to hear me talk about. Put that in the link below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you all next Friday. Have a turtly awesome day. Bye.